Hey guys, what's up? Tyler here with T-Game and Tech, and today I'm going to be reviewing the free app, Magic Puzzle. And if you've guessed it, this is a puzzle game that is free on the App Store for the iPad. And so you have a couple options down here, but we're just going to go into play. And these are the ones you see right in front of you are the ones you actually get when you open up the app. You can download more for free. I'll show you how to do that later. So you just click on one, it opens up the puzzle. It's about that easy. So if we just go back to the pause and hit menu, go back to the main screen. Um, so it's kind of like a cover flow effect. As you can see on the bottom, you have different levels. You have beginner, advanced, professional, and master. That's just how many pieces for the beginners, like what, 42 pieces. And at the very higher end, there's like 200 some pieces in the master level. So there's different level difficulties for each um, puzzle. You can customize it to whatever level you like. You can also rotate the pieces, um, which I feel like is a lot harder, so I don't usually rotate the pieces. Um, but like I said, you can select whatever level you want for each puzzle and customize it. Um, and just hit new game if it asks you to pop up an old one. And you can slide up and down the, on the right to get your different puzzle pieces. And to actually get them, you just need to click on it and drag to the left. Um, don't try to drag up or down or drag up and out because it doesn't work. Um, you, like you saw right there, you just have to drag straight to the left. And sometimes you accidentally click on the ads. Um, that's probably how they get their revenue, accidentally click, clicking on ads. Um, but um, as you can see, this is an easy level, and the puzzles are fairly big, so it's not that hard. Um, so you just move puzzle pieces around. If they go together, they click together, and they stick together and make a, like a bigger piece. Um, if they don't, they don't stick together. And as you can see, it's fairly straightforward. Not much going on there. And right there, you can see they click together, and then they stay. You can move those around. So as right here is the pause menu. You can go to um, different things. So we're going to go back to the menu, and we're going to go into a more professional-looking puzzle. As you can see, the pieces are much smaller, and and you can click this little magnifying glass down the bottom to see the actual picture, and you can move it around to wherever you want. So if you complete the top corner of a puzzle, you can take the image and move it up there. That way, you have something to look off of, look off of as a reference. So right here is the most advanced one, and as you can see, the pieces are fairly small. I've done one advanced puzzle, and it took me actually a long time. Um, so you gotta have a little bit of patience, <laughs> but it does take a long time, but it does keep you entertained. It is a decently challenging puzzle once you get into 200 some pieces. So up here you can see different categories that I have downloaded. Um, I've downloaded some World Wonders, some Valentine's Day ones, and here I'm in the All section. You can just swipe through them all. Um, there's just different categories you can find. And if you go to the shop up here, um, you can see all the different categories you can either buy or the categories that you can download for free. So up here you have your featured, your new, your top picks. Um, so you have to look and watch. All your free ones have this free little band up in the corner right here. It says free. Um, if they don't have that, you will be charged for it. I'm not sure how much. It varies for each puzzle. Um, I thought I saw a puzzle pack one time for like $10, um, but most of them are like a dollar. And to see how much it actually worth, just hit preview. And to, let's just download a free one. Just hit the green download button. And as you can see, it's free. It has a free bar ribbon up at the top. And... There you go, the free um, puzzles are downloaded. So there's other ones here, so we hit preview. It kind of like in the app store, you, it just comes up, gives you previews of what it looks like, and it does give you the price up there in the corner. So if we just go back and look for our motorcycle puzzles, you'll see that we got some new ones. Um, so we got a decent amount, five or six puzzles right there. Um, and most of the puzzles are actually um, decent puzzles. There's nothing that's too uniform. There are a couple puzzles where there's like a whole sky and like one little item and it's hard to get all your sky pieces matching up. But for the most part, um, I think the puzzles are fairly challenging and it's not too difficult. Um, if you're, unless you're in like the top master levels, they are, do get a little difficult then. But I do think it's a decent pickup for a puzzle app. As you can see, there's different ocean life ones. There's different birds, um, winter scenes, anything you can think of really. These are all free. I didn't pay for any of these. So these are all some decent puzzles you can get for free. World Wonders, the Coliseum, Machu Picchu, I think that's what that is. Um, just different World Wonders that you can see. And then, like I said before, if you click on all, you can swipe through all the different kinds you have. So overall, I think this is a great free app. If you like puzzles, um, I like puzzles. They kind of run in my family. People like doing puzzles. Um, so I really found this app entertaining and enjoyable. So if you're thinking about getting this app, I would suggest picking it up. It's free, no harm in downloading it, as long as you don't download those ones that actually cost money. So if you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe up in the corner. And don't forget to check me out on all my social links below. I recently added Google Plus to that. So if you're on Google Plus, you can go add me to your circles down there. Um, so once again, thank you guys for watching my videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one.